Hey, hello everyone, welcome to another video, and welcome to um, a tutorial video, because the video got a like goal, and reached two, I'm going to be showing you how to make my Gisberg thumbnails, and as you've seen, or if you have not, I'm telling you now, I remade all 12 of them, so um, you can go look back at all of them, but if you don't, anyway, the first thing we're going to do when it comes to making the thumbnails is, we want to download an app called Minimator. Um, I'll leave it. I'll leave the link to this app in the description below if you want to go download it for yourself. But this is what you need to make the thumbnails the way I do it. So we're gonna open this up real fast. So there we go. What I like to do is I like to make my thumbnails look like um, the Minecraft trailer. So what I do open up the background tab and then scroll down, scroll down to the texture Minecraft. What we want to do is go browse. You can use any texture pack. Because I use bare bones. Want to find the bare bones texture pack and then extract it. It's gonna take a couple seconds, but once that's done, everything that you make and place down will be bare bones um, texture pack. You can turn it off if you want, but just in case you want to look like this, you can do that. Okay, so what we're gonna do for this thumbnail, the, the one that you've seen in this video already is one that I'm is one that I'm gonna be showing you how to make today. Here's what we're gonna start off with doing. What you want to do is want to go here, tap on this crafting table, go down to right here, the second one, create a piece of a world. Now I want to click scenery and then click where it says import from world. Now it could be any world, but so what do you do here? Then you click on this world where it says world. It's a drop that menu here. You, you can go for any world you want. So I'm going to say I choose any world right now to use. So I'll use one called Hotlock SMP. I can see now we have a map of a world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag how much of the chunk I want to be here. So I can have this area here. I want to have, and you can drag here to see how tall it is, and, and then drag here to see how low it goes. But I'm going to go here. I'm going to change it to the bare bones section pack, and I'm going to create it. So here's what we're So now, as you can see, we have, we have a chunk of a world. This is my house in a specific star world that I have. It's a really nice house, actually. Why is the path missing? The path blocks are missing, which is kind of a problem. Um, we don't got to worry about that right now. We're going to go find a good area to put a desk. We're going to go to the blocks. We want to find. We're going to scroll down so you find stairs. I haven't actually used stairs yet, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go find... Let's look so you can see stairs. This will give me a couple seconds. There, about stairs. So what you want to do now is you want to have... I want to have... I, want, I'm, I need to make a desk. I'm going to put it upside down. My favorite type of wood, I want to say, is spruce. So we're going to take a spruce log. So we're going to make one. There we go. Um, i got to turn this on here so you can see what you're doing. So now you can rotate it however you want. I'm going to turn on snapping. Just so that way it'll actually be like accurate to the Minecraft look. So now I'm gonna move it a little bit so it at least is in a good spot. So right there we'll do. Now I'm gonna do. This. I'm gonna duplicate this one. There's a button down at the bottom right down here. There's a duplicate button right there. So now we're gonna do is drag it again, just so we can make ourselves another area. Now I gotta get a slab for a desk because that's what we need. So give me a second. Okay, snapping at this point, I'm gonna turn snapping off because it gets it gets a little bit wonky sometimes. So we're just gonna give me a couple seconds. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna line this up. So, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Just like house in the view. I'm gonna it's gonna it's gonna look different, but I'm just gonna rotate it in a way. So I, even though it's diagonal, it's gonna look weird, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna make it look. I'm gonna rotate it diagonal so you can at least see the house. That's probably the best I can get. It looks somewhat aligned. Anyway, we have a table here. So now what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna spawn in my characters. We're gonna go here. To create a player or mob then we're going to we could use a steve but what i'm going to do is go to skin and click where it says browse what you do is take your skin and make and, and make it into a file a downloadable file so i have mine here a thumbnail skin i save that i, I remove the outer layers so because thumbnail i don't know it looks a little bit wonky sometimes so i removed that anyway myself i don't know why i'm all the way down there but so now what i'm going to do just to, just for realism i'm going to make his i'm going to move his legs around a little bit so so what you want to do to move it to get the characters you want to you want to click on the character so that we have the character select but then what you could do is tap on any body part and then it will select that part so let's see the blues part you know how this part works about when it comes to rotating and stuff but this little this little cyan one it rotates the limbs at the joints so just to, just for out of realism so i'm gonna do that i'm like i make my character stand a certain way sometimes so give me a couple seconds so i can get him to stand the way i want him to so hold up sometimes rotating is a little bit difficult but i end up getting a hang of it so there now we're standing in a Realistic way. So now what we're gonna do is wanna make sure we wanna make it look he's talking to the camera. So we're gonna oh that doesn't look right. How do I fix this trapdoor up there? I cannot fix the trapdoor. Make sure that he's looking at us. We wanna we wanna get a good view of the house and stuff, so we're gonna put it like right here. We'll make sure his head is looking my way. So let's pretend so we're gonna do this. I'm going to move his hands up. Like he's talking to you. I make it look he's pointing at the house, or like he's waving at you. And then we want to make us, we don't, we don't want his other arms, I like to have, look, look, have, have some realism to it, so I'm going to like, make his arm look a little bit better, so we're good, I'm not the best at animating, but I'm not trying to animate anyways, there we go. Now we have him standing here, looking at us. 
Now, typically what you could do, I could add some weapons and stuff I want to. I'm not going to add a weapon. Then again, I could. Let's see what I could do here. I'm going to give him a stick. So that way he's like a teacher with holding like the stick that points at the, um, at the whiteboard. That's what we're going to do. He's holding a stick. So this will be a whiteboard. So there we go. Let's, let's pretend there's a... There's a whiteboard behind him. He's holding a stick. Make sure it's... Oh, that's not even touching him. Now he's holding a stick. So there we go. Now we got our guy holding a stick. Now what we want to do from here is we want to change the time of day so it's a, so that the sun is facing on a good area of him. So we're going to go here to where it says time. And we're going to rotate the sun until you think it's good enough. So we're going to rotate it to about right there. But just for real, because I like the way it looks, what I'm going to do is I am going to turn this on right here. Down here, it renders it in a higher quality, so it looks nicer. So typically what we could do is this. You open up here next to the settings, it opens a little viewer for here for you to see. But but in order to save the picture, what you gotta do is you have to pay for it. So here's so if you want to avoid paying for it, because I'm going to because I'm cheap, you look here, this is the best way to see how it's gonna look when you're done. So what I'm gonna do is this. We're gonna close this out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Snippet Sketch, which is down here. Snippet Sketch is the best thing to use to take screenshots. So I'm gonna click a new thumbnail. We're going to just drag it to make sure that you're taking up the amount of the picture that you want to use. So here's what we're going to drag, take the picture. So now right there, you see on my screen here, we have a picture. Let's do a sketch. That's a thumbnail. So now what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this. Now, I know I'm cheap, like I already said. So we're going to open up 3D Paint only because it's it's easy. Remember, my videos, when I'm, tutorials, I'm trying to keep it as cheap as possible. Like the first thumbnail video, it was a completely free video how to do it completely for free. So for th YouTube thumbnails, here's what you got to do. You want to make sure you change the, the size to 1280 by 720. It doesn't really work that well, so you gotta, when it comes to height, you got to drag it. So now what you're going to do is go over to Stimmy Sketch. You're going to paste the picture, and you're going to or you're going to copy, and you're going to paste into here. Stretch it out to make sure it at least fits into the picture. Now, me personally, what I like to do when it comes to making thumbs, I like to, like, I like to twist it. I like to, like, bend it and make it look a little bit slanted, because I like making thumbs that way. So anyway, now what we're going to do is... We're going to paste that there. Now, just for this thumbnail, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a little border around it just because I'm, it might look nicer this way. So we're going to make this a, like a cyan border. Or no, we'll make it a light blue border just to, for just for the video. So we're going to make it a little bit thicker. You know, this part is not necessary if you don't want to, but I'm doing it just because I want to. So this part, if you don't want, if you don't care about this part, you can just skip this. But we got a little border here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add text. My favorite text is Show Card Gothic, my favorite, my favorite font, but since I downloaded a Minecraft font... I want to use the Minecraft font. Now I like to make a black, um, a black um, outline and then yellow on top. So if we're good. We're gonna do this. Let's do it. how to make Minecraft thumb nails. There you go. I'm just gonna rotate a little bit because it looks nicer when it's rotated. So we're gonna put that right about there. We're gonna take that. Then we're gonna do that all over again. But in yellow. Now we make sure we rotate it to make sure it's at least aligns correctly with the black, otherwise it's gonna look wrong. Like that, perfectly aligned, perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Drag it off the black a little bit in any direction you want, because the black acts as like a shadow. So whichever way you want the shadow to be, just drag it off that a little bit. But actually, I actually have no, it's not no. So everyone then you want to do is just take it like that, and then you can click enter, and there you go. That is a Minecraft thumbnail. Now it doesn't look perfect because the wording is a little bit small. So it's important that when you're making thumbnails, make sure you remember this one crucial step to make a thumbnails is that when you have text in the thumbnails, make sure that you have the text in a way where people can see it. But this is pretty good. If there's anything else, you, if you can add whatever you want to that thumbnail, but this is how you make my thumbnail with the text and stuff. You don't have to do it your way, but I mean, you, could, you could do it your way. You don't have to do it my way, but now you know how to make the thumbnail itself in Minimator, which is good. So that's pretty much it. Now what you want to do, because you already know what to do from there, you just got to save it as a thumbnail. So I have a, I have a, a folder for all my thumbnails. So we're going to do... First, I'm going to save this as a thumbnail. I like to replace the oldest thumbnail first. So we're going to replace the this one here, thumbnail 4. It's going to ask you want to replace it. Yes, because if you're never going to use it again anyway, then that's how you do it. So there you go. That is your Minecraft thumbnail. The one you see right now, this is how you do it. As you can see on YouTube, as I like back when I first started out on YouTube, um, what I did is, is my Roblox, when I first started playing Roblox, what I did with my thumbnails is when I made the Roblox thumbnails, I just I took like screenshots of the of the of my friend's avatars and then use them. I was going to show you some. As you can see here, I took pictures of their thumbnails and then changed it and then put it into the picture. It doesn't look that good. So here's so what I did instead of that is now what I do is I go into um I go inside of Roblox Studio and I edit the thumbnails that way. So I take the characters, 
It's a fly in here. Then I put the characters in the thumbnail. I make it like that. So if you want to know how to do that as well, then get this video to three likes and I'll show you how to make my Roblox thumbnails as well. Um, that's pretty much all I got for this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And if you have any sort of games you wanted to play, be sure to leave your suggestions down in the comments below. Now, like I said, three likes and I'll be showing you how to make Roblox thumbnails as well. I hope this thumbnail tutorial was easy for you. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and that's it. We're done. Goodbye.